I have spent two days in Saudi Arabia on an official tour. I've held several meetings. I have met senior Saudi government officials, including my counterpart, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud. I've also met the Vice Minister for Labour, His Excellency Dr. Abdullah Nasar Abdain. I have also met and spent hours listening to Kenyans living and working in Saudi Arabia. I've also met babies of Kenyan mothers. My meetings with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Saudi Arabian government have centered on our bilateral issues based on our great relationship we have with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We have agreed to work together as a team as we push our international agendas. We have requested the support of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia as we tackle the drought situation facing our country due to the effects of climate change. With His Highness Faisal, we have agreed to enhance our trade and investment and expansion of our tourism sectors. This will create more employment opportunities and increase the amount of money in the pockets of our people. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia views Kenya as one of its top partners and likewise we view Saudi Arabia as one of our major partners. On the issue of immigrant labor, we have come up with concrete proposals that will make it easier and better for Kenyans to relate and work in Saudi Arabia where they are high in demand. We have held, engaged, discussed very comprehensively on these issues facing Kenyan workers in Saudi Arabia. Listening to the victims, the agents, Kenyan government officials and Saudi government officials it is very clear to me that the problems that Kenyans are facing in Saudi Arabia actually do not start here, but start at home. The system is flawed and corrupt, and unless fixed, nothing will change. There is massive corruption in the way Kenyans are prepared to come to be domestic workers in Saudi Arabia. This is a major concern for all of us. Saudi Arabia, uh, sorry, this is a major concern for all of us, including the government of Saudi Arabia. We have to break the cartels and streamline the agencies, some of which are owned by prominent Kenyans. We have agreed to work on a modality to get Kenyan labor agencies to have offices here in Saudi Arabia, so as to deal with issues concerning their clients, that is the Kenyans they bring here. We will, in collaboration with the Saudi government, flush out illegal uh, agencies and blacklist agencies that do not perform as per the law. The rights of all workers as enshrined by the laws of Saudi Arabia and Kenya will be enforced. Kenyans will be protected, regardless of where they work. To this end, and as an immediate and short-term venture, we are issuing new procedures to be followed before we give clearance for Kenyans to travel as domestic workers to any country. Kenyan immigration officers will also not allow Kenyans to travel out of Kenya to Saudi Arabia as domestic workers without fulfilling the set requirements. This will start on Monday, 7th of November, 2022. We have set up a joint technical team of Kenya and Saudi government officials to fast track labor issues. They start their work in two weeks time on the 17th of this month. We have also dedicated an emergency hotline for Kenyans in Saudi Arabia to call when facing any difficulties. The emergency hotline uh, number at the Kenyan Embassy will be given. It is plus 966-500-755060. On receiving a call, we'll take prompt action, including but not limited to engaging the Saudi government for the assistance. The idea is to ensure every Kenyan lives well, gets medical care, and also is listened to and taken care of. I have requested for an amnesty to be granted to Kenyans who have fallen out of status and who are hiding illegally and who are unable to access media care so that their documents can be made legal and others given passage to go home. This will be part of the discussion that our teams will sit down and discuss. The Kenyan government my office is also dispatching additional staff to the Riyadh Embassy to assist 
in the process of legalizing Kenyans who are out of status and processing travel documents and other necessary work that needs to be done to help our Kenyans. Saudi Arabia has great potential and is a major market for our workers and especially trained ones. Kenyans here working, apart from the domestic ones, the other ones work in other areas, appear to be very happy. I've met many, they are happy, they are well paid, they are, they are sitting pretty, and they are making a lot of money. So we just need to fix the domestic uh, part, you know, workers part, and everything will be flawless. And as I've said, we have noticed that the problem is not necessarily here in Saudi Arabia only, but the major problem is back at home with the agents and all the Okora that continues when they get here. We have requested for an increase of quotas to allow Kenyans. We have many Kenyans who are graduates in hospitality, engineering, nurses, doctors, people in all fields, accounting, to be allowed to come to work here. And they have said they need Kenyan labor. So I'm asking Kenyans, be prepared. You'll be coming here as professionals to work here and make a lot of money so that you can also help yourselves and your families. I thank the Kenyans I've met. Kenyans, whether they be agents, Kenyans living here professional work, Kenyans domestic workers, I have listened to you. You've been very, very candid. My officials have been very candid. And I want to assure you that you have nothing to worry about. You have the hotline. Now you don't have to relate to just depend on social media. You don't have to depend on your families. You can get your help directly from the Kenyan government. The Saudi Arabian government has said that they are shocked by the reports that they have seen and they are going to work hand in hand with us to ensure that the things that we see reported do not appear ever again. We have problems, yes, with the agents. We have problems also that face immigrants in diaspora when they go to different countries, but we can sort that out. And I'm glad the Saudi Arabian government is willing to help us be able to sort out all these problems that we are facing. I want to thank the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for their, candidates, uh, for their can candid and open bilateral discussions and their support. I thank them for according Kenyans this great opportunity to work and I'm confident with the new engagement we will achieve much more. I'd like to repeat and say that we have agreed on many things. One, provision of medical care to Kenyans. Number two, ensuring that the laws of Saudi Arabia are followed, especially by the agents and also by people who are employers of our people. Number three, we're increasing the quota so that we can get nurses, doctors, engineers, journalists, people who have skills, plumbers who want to work here in Saudi Arabia and make a lot of money. We have also noticed that the problem is stuck to us domestic workers. The system is changing and we have worked on agreement so that now they will be announcing soon uh, part of their program so that if you come to work for somebody and you want to move somewhere else, you can be able to shift. We've worked and talked about people, Kenyans, keeping their passports, and they, the law says they should keep their passports. The problem are the agencies, and we are going to fix that. We have also agreed that Kenyans, when they want to exit this country, have a right to exit this country, and our embassy here will be processing visas and ensuring that Kenya is able to go. Kenyans who have children, we've come up with a, with a formula of being able to get children to also get uh, uh, permits to be able to leave the country so that people can be able to come home. In other words, it has been a wonderful visit. We've sorted out a lot of uh, things. I've had numerous meetings with Kenyans, and I can tell them you now have a government that listens to you, you have a government that cares, and you have nothing to worry about. I'll be on top of things, and we are going to get permanent solutions to our challenges. Saudi Arabia, the nation, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, they're our friends. They care about us. They want to invest more in Kenya. They want more Kenyans working here. And they are also shocked by uh, the stories that Kenyans have been telling. And we've narrowed down, especially our officers here, we've narrowed down we know what the problem is. And I'm going to deal with it with my colleagues in cabinet to ensure it never happens again.